All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. What we're doing today is we're going to be putting on new high pressure valves and stems, and we're going to be adding PAG oil into your AC system. I'm going to show you how. We did a video on replacing the accumulator, but now we need to get some oil back in there before we go ahead and vacuum test it, seal it up, and get it going in full with uh, the R134A. So let's get going. All right, so there's a little Schrader valve down in here. All right, so you want to get a 5 8 wrench on here, and this should twist off. There we go. There it is. So we got our new one in here. Now before we go putting this one back on there, um, we're gonna go ahead and pour in our three ounces of PAG oil. All right, so we got our PAG oil and we got a medicine cup, which measures 30 milliliters. So that's roughly about one ounce right there. And we're gonna add three of these to the system because uh, that's what I found as far as replacing the accumulator. They say to add about uh, three ounces of fluid. Um, let me know if you guys do anything different, but that's what we're doing for this. Um, three ounces. All right, so there's one ounce. You hear it gurgling it right down. and it's got pressure so once you're all hooked up just turn it on pour it in and it'll suck it right down in there one more <laughs> sucking it right down and we're doing three total one you can see it sucks it right down <laughs> all right now we got our pag oil in there now we take some of the leftover pag oil there and we can rub it around the o-ring here now we can go ahead and screw this back in and we'll tighten that up all right so we got that tightened down on there now just don't go crazy because you could bend this and then you break your pipe and then you're no good. <laughs> so get that on there and you can put your dust cap on. And you're all set now. Once you're all set with your pag oil and all that stuff, go ahead and run vacuum. And you want to get it down to 30 inches of mercury on here. Let this run for about a half hour. And then you'll be ready to start charging it up. All right, and if you do have a manifold set, one thing I wanted to add about uh, adding PAG oil, uh, you could either do what I did up here, you could take your high port off and then run suction that way, or if you're gonna be filling it uh, with your R134A, um, once it's all set, you can go ahead and take off your vacuum line here and you could actually pour in the three ounces through here and then, uh, attach it to your Freon, and then that'll suck it right up in with your Freon. So I just want to point that out that there is other ways of adding PAG oil. Um, so you can take this off, pour the oil down into the hose, and then connect it to your R134A, and then charge up your system. All right, so a quick, simple, and easy way to add PAG oil to your system if you got to replace any of the components. Uh, you just need to have a vacuum. And same thing, you just connect to your low pressure, 
run vacuum on it and then start adding your oil and it will suck it down in there and uh, whatever you put in is what you put in. Uh, for this we did three ounces. So we're all set here. Make sure to check out all of our other videos, charging the system, accumulator, orbs tube, uh, everything else we do here on the farm. And once again, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.